AI to see, it's like a, another family for him. It's been fantastic, not just for the boys, even for us, because we've made friends, we've spoken to other parents, and you realise that you're not on your own. The fears that you've got, they've got. So we're a family of six, four boys, three of them have a very rare metabolic condition called phenylketonuria, but they have the rarest form of it. He is the youngest out of the four brothers. Um, if he doesn't take medications, it will affect them, his movements, the way he speaks, the way he talks, the way he reasons, the whole lot. When you hit the mainstream area, it's very difficult for these kids to be accepted there. They like mean, they like, what did I say, you're not good at football, you're not good at doing nothing. I want to prove them wrong, I can do my best at sports and work. Gabriel, you a Ken goal? Good lad. Good Gabriel, well done, there you go. Gabriel is a very cheeky lad. He's the first one to do like a little bit of banter or winding other players up. He's a very bubbly person. He loves to laugh a lot and joke a lot. When Gabriel's playing, he's definitely more serious and really focused on obviously keeping that ball out of the net. No goals, great save Gabriel, well done. The brothers are completely different. You've got Luke kind of very reserved really focus on his football and you've kind of got Gabriel, that cheeky, chappy lad. Good save, Gabriel. Well done. Definitely a love-hate relationship. Um, um, I heard his dad say something earlier saying they're not competitive, but when they play against each other, they definitely are competitive. Gabriel, what do you have for breakfast? Banana. Banana? What else? That's it. That's it? Ooh, OK. Yeah. Ambulance, yeah. breathing? Uh, yes. Are no, conscious? No, no. I was feeling dizzy, I wasn't feeling well. My dad was in the garden. Came in and found him lying on the floor. I fell straight away. My eyes were behind my head. I was sweaty, I was white. My mum called the ambulance and they came like straight away. Took him to hospital, investigations, and we found out that he had a minor stroke. It was scary for us and it was it was a time when we thought, do we have to have this as well? So I was scared. Those people, when they have this type of stuff, they can be in a bad place. I didn't feel my leg. And I was scared I'm not going to play football all the time in my life. Thankfully, yeah. He's back. Still not 100% because his body is still recovering from that thing, but he's playing again. His character is a jolly character, so that character overcomes everything. He's been incredible during that journey he's had um, and coming back to sessions. He's still exactly the same character. He's a cheeky chappy. He's annoying all his football mates, <laughs> the coaches, everything. For him to come back to sessions with the same attitude, the same desire, the same love for football, for everything he's been through, that time away from it, it's, it's incredible. He really does honestly deserve to get this award. 